Hello everybody, welcome to another video for SU Studies with you. My name is Efraín Castillo and in this session we're going to be understanding how to order numbers in a number line using the signs greater than, less than and equal to. So let's go ahead and start. First, we're going to understand how to use the symbols greater than, less than, and equal to. On the first symbol, greater than, you can see that the number to the left is going to be greater than the number to the right. You can easily memorize this by looking at the big side of the symbol and the opposite side of the small sign of the symbol. Whichever number is to the left, is going to be greater. On the other hand, for the less than symbol, the number on the left is going to be smaller or less than the number on the right. As you can see in the symbol, the smaller part of the symbol is towards the left and that's where the smallest number is going. The number towards the right is on the bigger part of the symbol, so that means that that number is greater. And the last symbol that we're going to study today going to be the equal sign, which means that whatever number or expression in both sides of the equal sign, it's going to be the same. For example, if we have two numbers, like 5 and 2, and we're trying to find out which of those two numbers is the greatest, we will have to place one of the symbols in between those two numbers in order to represent the relationship between those two. We will have to find one of the signs and place it in between those two numbers. But first, we have to draw our line of numbers with enough tick marks and place those numbers in that line. Whichever number is farthest to the right is going to be the greatest number. In this case, I have the number 5. So if I try to find this number on the line, it's going to be over here. Now I have to find the second number in the line and see which one is farthest to the right. If I try to find the number 2 on the line, it's going to fall right here. As you can see, the number 5 is farthest to the right. So 5 is the greatest number. Over here, in order to place the correct symbol, I have to find the one that has the biggest side towards the number 5. So I have these two choices over here, greater than or less than, and I know that this symbol has the greatest or the opening, the highest part, toward the 5, so this is going to be my correct sign to place in between, greater than, and we know for sure that 5 is greater than 2. Another example involving negative numbers can be negative 2 and positive 3. We have to find out which of those two numbers is the greatest number. So let's go ahead and place them into the line of numbers. I start with my tick mark at 0. Place enough tick marks towards the right. And I'm also going to place enough tick marks towards the left. I'm going to go ahead and find where those numbers are going to be placed in my line of numbers. The first number that's negative 2, is walking two spaces towards the left. So this is where negative 2 lies. For positive 3, I have to walk three places to the right. This is where positive 3 lies. As you can see, we can easily see which of those two numbers falls farther to the right. This is going to be the greatest number. Now we have to have to place a sign in between those two numbers. I have to find the sign that has the greatest opening towards the 3. And that's going to be the correct sign. On my two options that I have in here, the symbol less than has the bigger opening towards the biggest number, which is the 3. So the proper sign to place in there is going to be the less than. If you read it, negative 2 is less than 3. 
when you have a debt of two dollars in your bank account you have less money than when you have a positive balance of three dollars another example involving two negative numbers negative three and negative seven and we'll try to find which of these two numbers is the greatest number I'm going to go ahead and place those in the line of numbers starting at zero I'm only going to place negative tick marks because I have two negative numbers and I'm going to find those two numbers in my line of numbers the first number is negative three so I have to walk three units to the left and this is where negative three lies for my second number I'm going to walk seven units to the left and this is where my negative seven lies now I have to find which of those two numbers goes farther to the right and that's going to be the greatest number on this case you can see that negative three is farthest to the right so negative three is greater than negative seven I have to find the sign that has the greatest opening towards negative three and on this case it's going to be the greater than symbol so this is going to be the symbol that's going to be placed in between so negative three is greater than negative seven another example involving negative numbers is going to be negative five and negative one let's go ahead and find out which of those two numbers is the greatest and place the correct symbol in between them let's go ahead and start with my line of numbers with a zero and I'm going to start drawing tick marks towards the left side since all I have are negative numbers let's go ahead and find the first number which is negative five it means I walk to the left five units and that's where my negative five lies I have to find negative one in the same line and that is this walking one unit now by inspection I know that negative one is farthest to the right so this is the greatest number the symbol has to have the greatest opening towards the negative one so out of those two symbols that I have the only one that has the opening towards the negative one is going to be the less than symbol and that is going to be the correct one negative five is less than negative one thank you very much for watching this video my name is Efraín Castillo and this was another video for SU Studies with you I'll see you next time